Jonathan, welcome to Take Two. Thanks for having me, eh? All right, so what are some of the common misconceptions we have about fish? That they're primitive, they're in fact highly evolved, they've been around for 450 million years, which is about 450 times as long as we've been around. It's often thought that animals are just instinctual. I, I think the best response to that, is to show that they're not, is the flexibility of animal behavior. The fact that they will behave differently in different settings, the fact that they may have, uh, maybe in a certain state, they may be hungry or in pain, and it will change the way they'll behave in an otherwise the same situation. The problem with thinking that it's all instinct is it's sort of a way to diminish the animal as just a stimulus response machine. Given that fishes have not just minds, but also emotions, we know they have experiences. Uh, they can experience pain, they can experience pleasure. They have wants, needs, desires. They have feelings, they're individuals. This is something that scientists had not really been giving much thought to because we've had such a dim view of these creatures. One of the challenges of any aspect of studying the inner life, the conscious world of another species is they're not just going to tell you how they're feeling. So we kind of have to be creative and observant and surmise.